Hi, let's talk about turnover number of enzyme. The turnover number can be defined as the number of substrate molecules getting converted into product molecules per active site in one second. To measure turnover number, we need two information. The first one is how many substrate molecules got converted into product molecules in one second. And the second information is how many enzyme molecules were present in the reaction mixture. To find how many substrate molecules got converted into product molecules in one second, we need to find change in concentration of substrate or change in concentration of product with respect to time. As the enzyme catalyzed reaction proceeds, the concentration of substrate will decrease whereas the concentration of product will increase. Let's say in 60 seconds, 60 micromoles of product was formed. So in one second, how much product was obtained? This will be equal to one micromole of product in one second. Now since 1 mole is 6.023 into 10 raised to 23 molecules, we can calculate how many molecules will be present in 1 micromole of product. This will be equal to 6.023 into 10 raised to 17 molecules. So, 6.023 into 10 raised to 17 molecules are formed in one second. Once the number of product molecules are calculated, next we need to calculate how many enzyme molecules are present in the reaction mixture. To calculate how many enzyme molecules are present, we divide the amount of enzyme or the weight of enzyme by its molecular weight. This will give us number of moles of enzyme present in the system. And since one mole is equal to 6.023 into 10 raised to 23 molecules, the information in mole can be converted into total number of molecules. Now, the information about the weight of enzyme or the amount of enzyme can be easily obtained by performing Follin's assay. And the information about the molecular weight can be obtained by performing polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis. This can be SDS page or native page depending on your enzyme sample. Let's say the molecular weight of the enzyme is 40 kilodalton and the amount of protein estimated by Follin's method is 80 micrograms per ml. So if we take the ratio of amount of enzyme by its molecular weight, we get 80 into 10 raised to minus 6 because it's in micro divided by 40 into 10 raised to 3. So these two gets cancelled out. This goes up and you get the answer 2 into 10 raised to minus 9 moles. So, since 1 mole is 6.023 into 10 raised to 23 molecules, 2 nanomoles will be equal to 12 into 10 raised to 14 enzyme molecules. So, 12 into 10 raised to 14 enzyme molecules are present in our system.
So 12 into 10 raised to 14 enzyme molecules are forming 6 into 10 raised to 17 product molecules in one second. So one enzyme molecule will form how many product molecule? So this will be 6 into 10 raised to 17 divided by 12 into 10 raised to 14. So this is total number of product molecules divided by total number of enzyme. And this answer will be 500. So 500 product molecules are formed by one active site per second. And this is the turnover number.